Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Factorio. We've had a little break. Let's get back to building a million minions. Shift onto there. Right, where am I going to take you to start with? I think we will go up this far. I'll put you to there, like that. And I'll get rid of that. I may as well get... If I've got to get rid of one of them, I'll get rid of the, the whole line of them like that so that we can fit other stuff through there if we want to. I don't have to, but it's kind of a, a handy thing to do. You can actually do this via the map. And I've got construction robots that will come around and will do everything. So I can just go onto there and I can shift click onto that. I can bring this one up here and it's a little bit difficult sometimes to get it to snake in the direction that you want it to snake in. So I click there, and then I want that one to go like that. And you've got, like, if I press R here, it does rotate things round, and it will sort of show you your different options that you've got. So I want to put that one there, like that. And then we're going to come through over here, and then I want to get through this lot. But I don't actually want to worry about that too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... That one there, like that. And then that's going to go... It's not going to work on there. Bring it to that point. And now it won't go any further because that RoboPort is actually in the way. It's a little bit of a jolly nuisance. So I'm going to remove those. Through there like that. And then... Get rid of that. I'll go like that and I'll remove that one. So that one's out of the way. We'll get a construction robot. We'll come up and remove that one. And that will allow me then to continue on with this blueprint. So there's the robot there. He's going to grab that one. Excellent. So you look where the arrow is and that's where it joins it out on. So then if I press that one there, I can bring that one on out further still. Okay, that's ideal. I've got a pole there in a way and it's going to be in a way on some of the others as well so what I'll do is I bring it to there and then put it there like that and you can see it does get a little bit difficult sometimes it does do things in a difficult fashion but other times it, it sort of does alright for you like over there um, that's that's going to be difficult because it's it's going to be caught up on that pole again. Uh, let's drop you there. Right, hang on a minute. Oops, no, I don't, I don't want to manually run around myself. I want to see where I am. I'm kind of running out over this side over here. So I can remove... Actually, I can't remove that or I'm going to lose all of that. That power line there, that's got to stay. Okay. I'll do that, and what I'll do instead is I'll run this one down here. That can run down there like that in pretty much a straight line. Get over to that side, then we can come over here. There. Perfect. I'll run down to there. And then I want to bring this one down here. So you can sort of see the way that it, it wiggles around. It doesn't always like how we've got things set up. Straight line all the way down would look best, to be honest. So maybe we could bring in a little bit of a um, a bit of landfill on here just, just to make that easier. So if I go like that and I put a treple... Treble layer all the way down through there... Like that's a little bit for those construction robots to run over and do. They've got enough in here. Look, we've, we've, we do have enough here. There they go with that. I'm hoping that I'll be able to then just take this. Put the shift button on there. No, I've actually got to wait for them to finish putting that down, haven't I? So I'll do that. And you look up here. They're going all the way around and they're actually putting everything on the track all the way around. 
So, so far, so good. So far, this is working out quite nicely. We've got that little bit being produced down through there. I've got a lack of radar on here, which I didn't realize I had. So, what we'll do is we'll actually... I'm going to use this one. Uh, we'll use that. And I'll drop a radar down on there. Can't build on deep... Yeah, I don't really want to build the whole thing. I just want to drop a radar down. Without having to build all the rest of it. Alright, I'll drop that down and then I'll remove you. And keep the rest of them. Those there, they can... St yeah, that one's got to go as well. And that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just filling in a few bits that I've already removed, but that, that will actually be fine. So I can now go... Nope, I want to go to that one, and then shift-click on there. Now we can go straight down here, and then we're going to go like that. That's going to work nicely. Oops. I forgot about this bit. Right. Back up a minute. Move a couple of those bits there. Then go to that one like that. And... I'll zoom into here. I can put that one down there. So that, that'll keep going along and just following that on. I've got... Telegraph poles are going to be turning up over here. There we go, eventually. So that's now removed the... A little bit of a gap that we had over there. Then I want to come along here. Now this is going to be a little bit more tricky. Just making sure that we actually get everything in here. To start with, I've got to remove that one. So if we go here, I get rid of this. And I remove that one there. And that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ghost in a couple more. If you press shift while you're placing anything down, it puts a ghost down. That's what I mean. When I'm talking about ghosting something in, that's what I'm that's what I'm referring to. Is just removing those items and then putting down the new ones. I'm ghosting them in. So we, we just put ghosts in. Now, I can put them to there, but I can only get to that point. I can go there, but I can't go past that one. So I need to go along here, like that, and then... In order to get round those pumps, I've got to do that. Which is fine, actually. We can do that. That's, I, I've got no problem with that at all. Then I want to come down here. Like this. And then I want to go underneath that bit there. Like that. And this one will run all the way over to here. Like this. And we want to get back over to there. This is the end of the track that we're actually uh, aiming to get to. So I'm going to bring that... Up this way. That's going to go to there. And then we're going to stop a second. We're going to run down here. We've got a little bit of manual work that we need to do. Just because um, you can't have bridges with train tracks. The one downside of having train tracks is that you end up crashing. Right? And when I say crashing, I mean that the, the, the trains will drive over you. So you, you don't technically crash. You, you, you get run over. Getting run over by trains is not really what you want to do. Right? It's best if you can avoid doing things like that. Now, what I want to do at the moment is I want to get that track to go through this little bit of a mess right here. I can't do it there, which means that I kind of need to do it there like that. So I just want to remove that line there. I'll put you that way. And I'll put you that way. So everything's going across there where it should. Then I would like some underground belts to go here. So I can get that track to go across here. I want it to go across this bit right here. And that's the end of the track where I want to bring up through here anyway. So you can see, I've got a very long loop on this track, and for some of you that may seem 
like a little bit pointless. Like, why have I got such a huge long loop on the track? Uh, what is the purpose of this? What reason could I possibly have for wanting such a big long track? And you will see it's it's not something that is going to be used a lot right now, but it is something that becomes a lot more useful later on. As time goes on, it becomes a lot more handy having this big long loop all the way round. And I have found in the past that if I don't build the loop to start with, I then end up running into problems later because I've then got to rebuild a huge chunk of the base in order to get that loop fully built in. Now, next up, I want you. Change that one instead of that one. And you are going to go all the way over here. Now, how far can you go? You can go that far. That's not actually as far as I'd like it to go. So I will put that one over to there and we'll go... Kind of like that, I think. Over to there. And the same one on there, over to there, like that. So I've now got some coal, which I don't want. I've got one, two. Let's get rid of all of those red belts. I don't want them either. Uh, I'm actually going to end up wanting some red belts, to be honest. So I'll remove those from there so they're not taken away anymore. It's something I'm going to end up using. So we've got them. I've got the coal there. They'll, they'll come and take the coal. Oh. Got one bit there that I want to put in. There, like that. Right. That's all good. Right, as so long as that's running through, it's fine. The rest of it can be dealt with later. So you, now, you need to go this way. I want to rotate this one round now. So that it's... Pointing up. You're going to go right there. Like that. I get rid of that one. And then I can ghost that in there. I'd say it's probably alright bringing this ghost up to this point here. Like that. I get rid of you. And then that is going to run up to there like that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. This, uh... Yeah, I need to be over there. I'm, I'm in the wrong spot on this. Just ever so slightly. So we need to clear a little bit of this. I'm going to clear that section of track there like that. And I've still got some of these that need to be put in. I'll make those. If I go here, one, two, three, four. I'll make four of those up a second. And we'll get them placed in. There's one down there, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one there as well. If we get those in... Actually, these ones up here, we don't need them yet. Don't need that one, and... There was another one down the bottom somewhere that I've already gone and placed. Okay, fine. We'll leave those. But I've now... It's basically just so that I can fill in the rest of the logistics network... I've now got logistics network through all of that. We've got a little bit of a gap there, and we've got a gap there where there's two missing, which I'm going to go over here now and fill in, because I don't want any missing ones. All right, so I will take you, and you will do that. All right. I know why we've got some missing ones. It's because of, like, how the... all the radars get filled in over time. It, takes them a, it take, does take them a minute or two to get properly filled in. Right, that's looking good. Everything's going where it should. Uh, except for this point here, I need to bring that on over to here. And then I want to loop it upwards. So I need to remove those a second. Like that. And then you over here. I'll put a ghost through to there. And I'll put a ghost through to there like that. And then we'll come up here. I'll remove that one, like that. A load of materials being brought over to me. I'm actually thinking that I want this ghost here to straighten up. So that one's going to come down there, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that bit there. And that bit all the way down to there. Like that. And then I'll take this and start you up. 
And I'll join that one onto there. Right, that's much better. That that all fits in. Now, I've now got a loop that runs the whole way around the factory. This is just the, the basic starting loop that runs around the entire factory. That's everywhere that it needs to run. And I can go from that and I can loop things out from here and I can start unloading things. Now, we're going to put a train station onto this. This is the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have a station. This is our unloading point over here. Before we do that, I want to start making some trains. In order to be able to make a train, I need 20 engine units, 10 electronic circuits, and 30 steel plates. The plates and so on are not a problem, but what I don't have is the uh, engine units. I need to make a few of them. So we'll ditch the pipes for a minute. Get rid of those, and we'll get some engine units going over here instead. I've got artillery wagons, I've got cars, I've got... Ta I can drive a tank around, I can build a tank, and I can drive that round. I will do that at some point. I'm not going to at the moment, though. It's it's, it's the sort of thing that... It's, it's great fun to go and do, but honestly, I don't really want to do it at the moment. I'll get... Yeah, I will stick with 50 of them. I'll stick with 50, so that'll give us two engines to start with. I normally do this with four cargo wagons per train. One, two, three, four. So we start off with one of them like that, and then as soon as I get my engine units over here, we'll be able to start building the next bit. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to need some rail signals, and I'm going to need some train stops. I've made five of them, and these, I'm going to want loads of them. Chain signals... I understand that they need reads the next signals in the path to allow better control of the trains. I've never really used those. I just use basic signals because the way that I set my tracks up, basic signals actually work just fine. I don't need to really worry about any other bits. So I'm just going to drop the signals in there like that. There. And I've got the train stops here. Now, the train stop works... One... Like if I put it that side, the train's got to be coming from the north in order to be able to stop. And if I put it that side, the train's got to be coming from the south in order to be able to stop. So you can see there, there are five white squares. And that shows you where each carriage is going to be once you've dropped this one down. And that works out really nicely for us because that's exactly where we're going to want to have everything um, pulled up and stopped. It's going to be right there. I'm going to put it there. And that's the direction that I want it to go. I run everything on a one-way loop. Some people are really clever, and they can do this on um, multi-way loops. You can have them going all over the place. And it's, it's like, people do really clever things. I'm not a clever person, okay? I will state this right here and now. I'm not a very clever person. So don't expect clever things from me. We're just going to do a simple loop all the way around. And I have a really simple method. As there we go. We've got another achievement. Build a locomotive. Getting on track. Ideal. And then we take our cargo wagons. And one. And two. And three. And four in there. So there's our four cargo wagons. Now, in order to unload the cargo wagons... You need inserters, and I normally, I'll do it like this. So that one will go onto there. There's nothing in there. So what I do, in order to be able to do this quickly, I run that down there like that. That's, that one's not doing anything at all. It's just in there. You can see right there like that. Now, those will unload that side. I actually unload these on both sides. Right, the unload works really fast, and I make it work really fast. Now, we need active provider chests, so I'll make another few of these. This is this is for the unloading station, remember. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six there, and I'm going to make another two, one, two, and then five more so that I've always got some spare. And... Drop those down there, and that is the unloading point on the station. Anything that's brought in will be put into a chest, but it's an active provider chest. So it's going to push that stuff into the network, which means that what the robots will do is they will gather up the material from here, they will bring it straight over, and if it can't go down to a furnace, it will go straight into one of these chests right here that we're currently building. It's taking a minute or two to build those chests, admittedly, 
but that's generally what's going to happen. That, that will keep everything ticking along quite nicely. And if we go to our total numbers, iron ore is right where we're losing iron ore. And a lot of our robots that are currently flying at the moment are busy whizzing around bringing iron ore and copper ore from down here. We got, I got plans for this, okay? Never fear, I actually have some plans for this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go with copy, and I'm going to copy that bit right there, except I don't want to copy all the train and everything else, so I'm just going to copy that side there, and I'm going to set that one up there, and there, and there, and I'm going to flip over, and I'm going to do the same on this side like that. So I've now got... A complete station ready to start unloading things. That is completely done. It's finished. I don't need to do anything else to that. The next bit that I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting some of these around. Now, if I put that one there, that means that there's a train in the station. I put that one there. Another train will come up behind and it will stop just in front of that one. This one's already stopped. Now, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put one of those down there. I never quite figure out if I'm supposed to put these in here as well. Like right beside the station or whether the station works as one of them. Uh, if I zoom out a little bit and I go like that, I bring that one up there. Can't reach. Right, like that. So that will allow one train. Give me that. Right, that will allow a train to go there. Now, if I was to leave that one and I was to send this train on its way, it would go from here and it would go all the way around. It will loop all the way around and it will come back over to here to our train station. And that would be about as far as it could go. Well, that is as far as it can go, right? We can't go any further than that. But if I got a second train on here, it's, nothing's going to go anywhere. Because that train's going to be there, and this one here, that one's green. It will allow anything to go. But if I put a train down there, a second train, then that one's not going to. That one's going to go red because this, the the next signal on the track is going to go red. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to pull that one, and then one, two, three, four carriages as well. Uh, so I'll take that train like that, and I can put that one anywhere on here because I don't have a, a station. So I'm just going to dump that one. Okay, I'm not going to dump it down there. I'm going to bring it down this side. And go like that. And that's forward that way. Right. That one's going to go there. And then I'm just going to hook on the carriages a second. One, two, three, four. Like that. So I've now hooked on those carriages. And if you go up here and you look, that was now red. So the train will go from here, will move up to that point, but then it will stop. It won't go any further than that. That's it. That's as far as it's going to go. No more. That's it. It's game over. Now, why have I got three additional... Oh, I don't. No, there's 103 in there. Right. Uh, but we don't want to do that. And so now we've got to do a aspect of the train building that does take a little bit of time it's only when you're setting it up first that it takes the time once you've got it set up it's then really easy uh, but I need another little factory set up before I actually get that in place I'm just gonna take my factory basic from there a second I'm gonna put one there and I'm gonna put one next to it like that I'm gonna go into here and I'm going to demand rail signals be made they're very easy as just electronic circuits iron plates this one over here, I'm going to do train stops, not far off. They need iron sticks, steel plates, iron plates, and electronic circuits. I'm making iron sticks already, so that's not going to be a problem. So I can just literally go shift-click there onto there, shift-click there onto there as well. And that's going to demand everything into there, and it's also going to demand everything into there. I'm not going to bother changing the quantities or anything. I'm not going to put any limits on the chest. We'll just have one chest of each of those, and then they'll start filling everything up, and they will start building everything that we need to build. It's that simple right there. We've already made one right there. The time that it takes is half a second to make each rail signal. 
doesn't take very long at all, and I've already got rail signals in here. So while that's going on, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to keep those rail signals. I may want them on me, but I'm going to go over here now, and I'm going to do this. And you can see here, this this really helps here. Look, so you've got the yellow line, you've got the red line in there. It sort of shows where all the tracks go. What I do now is I go round and I put these down and I try to get them roughly five carriages ahead. So I put that one down there and I, I keep looking all the way round and just go five carriages ahead of the previous one. And this allows the trains to queue up. Now I've no idea if this is two, three, that's not going to be any good there, so I'm going to bring that one up there. I've no idea if this is like the correct way of doing this or anything like that, but this is how I do it, and it's how I found it to work really well. Um, I've been able to get loads and lo like, when I get it set up and running, I can have a huge number of trains all running on the same track. Now I can't put anything there, so I've got to go just over this. Actually, I don't need to worry about that, because I do want a little bit of space between them. I can have a massive number of trains running on my tracks once I get this single loop all built and, and constructed. And the key to it is not just it, the station down here. This is not going to be the only station. The key to it is that I will have actually quite a number and the station will come out here. I will stretch that one out that way and then I put more and more of them together up here and then they all loop back in together onto a single track again and I can have like 15 stations along here and that's the key to making everything work well that is that's what I found at least so I got one there so I'm just gonna concentrate on this a minute before I go and do anything else I'm gonna concentrate on getting this all the way around now you don't need power for rail signals they work without power lines which is a real blessing trust me on this because the number of places like it would be real inconvenient to have to go all the way around it's like the major major inconvenience it would be it'd be it would be genuinely horrifying i would hate to have to go around and bring power to all my rail signals because the way that i set it up put that one down to there now i'm absolutely certain that some of you will be able to tell me how to use the chain signals properly but honestly i never actually i've never used them Never used them. I'm sure they're very useful. I'm sure they're very they're, they're wonderful things, wonderful tools. But I've never used them, and I've never felt a need to either. It just doesn't seem necessary with the way that I have things set up for my track. So I put that one into there, and then down here a little bit further. Put that one there, like that bit more and you can go in there right oh and the other thing train stations can be renamed as can labs and that's something that i'm gonna do i'm gonna rename the labs well actually i don't know about labs but train stations you can definitely rename train stations so i'm gonna start renaming the train stations to people who are in the great book of names i've been saying that i would be trying to get people into this series so that's something that we're going to start doing to put you down here uh, go one further, like that, and then that one over there is going to go right there, and then that one is going to go there. Oh, produce one million electronic circuits, mass production two. I do like getting achievements. Uh, some achievements become disabled if you use any mods at all, so because we got squeak through and we've now also got this uh, signal display one up here, um, some achievements will have been disabled with it, but not all achievements are. I've always, I've noticed that not all achievements are disabled. I don't know if it's only achievements that you've previously unlocked, uh, doing it without mods, because all of these ones that are coming up that we've had so far in this playthrough are achievements that I've previously had myself anyway. And one there. One a bit further. There like that. 
Well, folks, Rome wasn't built in a day, and a million minions are not going to be built in a single episode. We've run out of time, so if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.